Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been months, but here I am. By the title, as you can see, I'm gonna do a Q&A from this app called Tell On YM, something like that. I do wanna say though, a lot of questions and comments are regarding my past relationship. Does any of you guys know that I asked for my ex's consent to, like, you know, if I could mention him in the video? And he said, yeah, he thought it was like funny that I had to ask him, but you know, better safe than sorry. And I know a lot of people are just like, oh my God, did you see this is video? She mentioned you and blah, blah, blah. Does any of you guys know? He knows. He knows. Real quick, I wanted to say that since I am recording with my phone, I'm going back and forth reading the questions from the app. So if I miss a word as I'm reading it, it's because I'm trying to memorize it. I might forget a word or two. All right, now let's get to the video. Okay, so the first question is, describe yourself in three to five words. I would describe myself as creative, caring, responsible, organized, and productive. Second question is, what quote do you live by? I live by two quotes. The first one has to be, everything happens for a reason. The second quote that I live by is, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. So as you can see by these questions, a lot of them are asking, what happened between you and Omar? Why did you guys end things? Why did you guys break up? I'm not gonna say a big ass story, but just to make it short, I honestly wasn't happy anymore. I knew my worth. I know what I'm worth. And I just, you know, deserve better. And because of his actions, I started to have feelings for him. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. So next question is, check your YouTube page and you still have videos with your ex. Why? For those who have been with me since the beginning of my YouTube channel, you know I have posted videos with my ex, like, um, challenges, pranks, uh, vlogs with him. If you check out my YouTube channel now, those videos are gone. Like, my first, my first, uh, two vlogs, they were with him, those are gone. The throwing up the prank, that was a successful video, but... That video's gone. The only reason why I haven't deleted those videos, uh, the ones he's in right now, is because family's involved in those vlogs. Family means a lot to me, so I'm not gonna delete them. And plus, they're good memories with my family. And even though he is in them, I'm still thankful that he created those memories with my family and I. Next question is, what do you think is the most annoying habit people have? Having manners and respect is really, really important. And when I see people not having that it's kind of like um yeah you gotta go <laughs> another thing is when people chew with their mouth open and could hear like the like and see the food and everything like that's so annoying another annoying thing would be uh hanging out with people and they're on their phone like um we're out we're having a good time i'm talking to you put it down next one is you're hot you spelled it wrong. You gotta go, you gotta go. Okay, going back to the question of what's the most thing, like, what do you hate about people that's, like, really annoying or whatever? It's wrong spelling, wrong grammar, and stuff like that. It's annoying. Favorite sibling. If you guys didn't know, this app, questions you were asked, they're anonymous, so you don't know who asked you those questions or comments or whatever. And I thought it was them, and they said no, and I was like, hmm, okay. But they know this too. My favorite sibling has to be my sister. Why do you like chicken so much? I just love chicken. If you know me, I love chicken. Next question. <laughs> are you single asking for a friend? Actually, a lot of these questions are kind of the same. Like, am I single? Am I seeing anyone or talking to anyone? And to answer that question, let me find out you guys are trying to be nosy. That's all I'm going to say. Next one. Would you ever date taquaches? <laughs> Actually, I would. I don't have a type. I think what's important is like your personality your vibe and how comfortable i am with you and stuff like that so yeah i guess you could say i would date the watches hanging out with you is fun dude period always ready for our plants once everything opens again dude i've been ready like once this whole pandemic is over whenever that is i'm ready i've i've been ready are you a shy person no i'm not a shy person tell me what's something you don't like about people i feel like this is going back to the question where it was like what's something you find annoying about people um, you know, not having manners, not being respectful, chewing with their mouth open and making the noise, uh, the spelling, the grammar and stuff like that. Are you a spontaneous or planning person? Honestly, I'm both. You always mention Osbury Farm, so let's go once it opens. Ooh, I think I know who this person is. Guys, if you know me, I love Osbury Farm. Osbury Farm is my happy place. Like, if they ask me, what's your happy place? Osbury Farm. This whole pandemic thing needs to be over because I have a lot of plans planned do you think omar regrets the things he has done to you as in to hurt you oh my god why did i get this question um with all honesty 
no i don't think he regrets it i have my own reasons but that's all i'm gonna say i don't think he regrets it walmart or target so i see a lot of posts that, that girls relate to about target i'm just like um am i the only girl who likes going to walmart who goes to walmart and enjoys going to walmart instead of target i only go to target for one thing and one thing only other than that team walmart next question is would you consider yourself as a fast or slow learner what type of learner are you i would consider myself as a fast learner and i would consider myself as a visual learner i learn things by you know seeing them if they're just telling me without showing me i'm just kind of like um okay but i'm definitely a fast learner would you ever go back to red hair i miss being a redhead but unfortunately with my two jobs they only allow natural hair colors so not anytime soon where is one place you want to visit with all your heart japan japan is my dream um place i want to go travel to that's my main goal once i have that money and i'm you know ready japan here i come where do you see yourself in 10 years i'll be 32 so uh married with kids uh, with my future career, my dream house, my dream car, a lot of dogs, uh, yeah, anything is possible. Let's go to Kane's again and then you know where. <laughs> Let me find out, dude. What kind of brand shoes do you like? I love Converse. Do you think Omar deserved you? To be honest, no. I don't think, it's not that I don't think, I know he didn't deserve me. Next question is, how did you move on fast? I think what helped me move on fast was that I had already lost feelings for him, so it wasn't really hard for me. How to let go of someone that matters to you a lot. I feel like this has to do with the relationship that ended, if I'm right. If it is, I feel like you should not text them or check up on them, as well as taking them off like completely off of your social media you don't have to block them but yes like unfriend them unfollow them or whatever the case is because if you still have them on social media you're not gonna move on you're only gonna hurt yourself and if you see something that you don't like it's only gonna hurt you but if you don't have them on social media then you know like there's nothing to worry about so i just say you know remove them off of social media delete their number uh don't check up on them as harsh as it sounds don't check up on them i know it's hard to move on but i promise you that it's gonna be okay you're gonna look back to it and be like i was worried about this i was crying over this like it's just gonna be funny to you in the future and you know you're gonna be okay you ready for the red chicks oof dude definitely i just keep watching videos and i'm like dude i'm so ready when the day comes where we go I'm gonna enjoy the moment. Do you regret breaking up with Omar? No, I don't regret it. Is there a type of water you dislike or find disgusting? Yes, okay, this is for my water drinkers. Water drinkers? Does that make sense? Yeah. If you drink a lot of water, you know all water tastes different. And to me, the water that is disgusting or I, I really, I can't drink it would have to be Arrowhead water. Arrowhead water just, mm -mm. Describe your ex-boyfriend in three words. Okay, so I would have to say, um, hard work, very hard working, um, independent, strong, and okay. I know you guys said three, but I'm gonna say four. It would have to be smart because he's very smart. And last one, would you ever consider a long distance relationship? Nope, long distance is not for me. So that was it for today's video, guys. I do apologize if the video was too boring or too long or whatever. It sucks that we're still in this pandemic, but soon this will all be over. You guys just have to do your part by wearing a mask, stay six feet away from. You know, people keep your distance and stay indoors as much as possible. As always, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment, share, show some love. And I will see you guys on my next video.